Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Huawei P30. Now you can pick this up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 600 bucks. All right, so let's go through all of the features. Now this is a GSM only phone. So if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you asked out. Now the phone comes in five different colors. You got Aurora Blue, Amber Sunrise, Breathing Crystal, Pearl White, and Wesley Snipes Black. For the display, you got a 6.1 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Now that's 422 for the PPI Patrol. You get an 85% screen to body ratio, you got your teardrop notch, and the phone is IP53 splash resistant. For the processor, you got the high silicon Corin 980 with the Mali G76 MP10 GPU. What does that mean in English? Flagship specs. That's the same processor and GPU you're gonna find in the P30 Pro. Now the phone is running Android 9 VIP with the EMUI 9.1 skin on top. Now it comes in a bunch of different versions. You got six or eight gigs of RAM with 64, 128, or 256 gigs worth of storage with expandable memory up to 256 gigs. That's nano style. For the battery, you got a non-removable 3,650 milliamp battery that features fast charge. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So one is 40 megapixels, that's f1.8, that's your wide angle lens. Then you got a 16 megapixel, that's f2.2, that's ultra wide angle. And you got an eight megapixel, f2.4, that's your telephoto lens with three times optical zoom. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel camera, that's f2.0 with your wide angle. Now you also got USB type C, you get NFC, Bluetooth 5.0, you got a headphone jack, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, and one of my favorite features, private space, also known as thought protection. All right, so all of that for 600 bucks, what's missing? The IP rating is a little bit low at 53. That means you can't submerge it, but it is splash proof. I don't like that. No wireless charge, I definitely don't like that. No dual speakers, I definitely don't like that either. No quad HD display, not the biggest deal in the world. But here's the thing, no IR blaster. Now, the only reason I mention that is because with the P30 Pro, you're getting an IR blaster. They should have added one on this too. But it is what it is. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. No I days off. White Shoes. I love my white shoes. White Shoes. I love my white shoes. Where you at? I Calm down. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let me grab a little unboxing knife. Nice white box. Nice and clean. Giggity. Here we go. Look out, shoes. Rah. All right, let's see what it is. Huawei P30. All right, so inside the box, this is gonna be your device. Let's get this plastic off. Rah. One on the front, but I missed it. Rah. One on the back, here we go. Rah. Woo! That Wesley Snipes, black on black. All black, everything. Let's keep it moving. See what else you get. Now this is gonna be your SIM ejection tool. Got your usual books and shit, plug them, file them to the side. One thing I like about Huawei phones, they give you that case. All right, if you're not heavy into cases and you don't plan on buying a bunch of them, at least you got one for free. And it's a nice gel skin case. It's gonna get the job done. All right, shoes, scoot, scoot. <laughs> shoes. All right, let's see, you get your fast charging brick, USB type C charging cable, and your headphones. Now let's take a look at the headphones. Now, when I say Apple-less, right, a lot of people have been hitting me up like, what do I mean? I mean, they look like a set of Apple headphones. Now, I know Apple didn't invent white headphones, but it is what it is. All right, shoes, listen to these real quick. All right, shoes. <laughs> shoes is in rare form tonight, y'all. Back to the device. Let me get a little wipe down. Look at that. Now, as far as the colors, the Amber Sunrise, that's that reddish color. The Aurora, that's the blue one. Breathing Crystal. Now, Breathing Crystal is my favorite color, but I went with that on the P30 Pro, so I decided to get the Wesley Snipes Black. As far as the Pearl White, never seen that one yet. On the back, there's your triple camera setup. You got your flash. On the bottom, headphone jack. Let's all say it together. Headphone jack, Apple. All right, listen up. Headphone jack, USB Type-C, speaker grill on the bottom, and a mic. On one side, there's your power button with a little hit of red in that. I like that. Volume up and down. Let's see if we got any juice. Okay, I felt a little vibration. There it is. 
There's your SIM ejection tool, uh, SIM, <laughs> your SIM tray right there. You need the tool to open that up. On the top, another mic. Now again, this does have expandable memory, but you need a nano SIM. All right, so not your micro SD card slot. More like a nano SIM slot. All right, here's your display. Now that one started up way faster than the P30 Lite. There's your little uh, teardrop notch, Dante's Peak. Not that bad though, not that bad at all. Lightweight phone, let's do a little size comparison. Here's the P30 Lite. Let me stack them up. Actually, the P30 Lite is a little bit bigger. Now, think about this for a second. The P30 Lite, this is 300 bucks. The P30, 600 bucks. P30 Pro, 1,000 bucks. The P30 might be the best deal because this is basically a flagship phone minus a few features. All right, now there's one more thing I forgot to mention that I don't like, no quad HD display. I don't know if I said that or not, but I don't like that. All right, so let me pause the video. I'll drop all my information in, then we'll do our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up. I just came back from doing my little midnight run and my little camera testing, and I gotta keep it real with y'all. For 600 bucks, this phone is an all-around win. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't rock with Huawei for whatever reasons, but for 600 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Now, I don't care if you like Huawei or not, you cannot say that this ain't a good deal. Now look, I said this before and I'm gonna say it again. This is 2019. The days of spending 1,000 bucks for a flagship level phone is over. And I'm not talking about buying a Galaxy S8 from two years ago or always buying OnePlus phones. There's other phones on the market, like this one right here, for 600 bucks that are flagship quality. Now I'm waiting until next week when I get the P30 Pro, but I can't see the P30 Pro being worth 1200 bucks and this one is 600 bucks. That's half the price. Think about it like this. If you don't care about IP68 water resistance, you don't care about dual speakers, you don't care about wireless charge and reverse wireless charging, you don't need an IR blaster, and you don't care about the 50 times zoom, you better off getting the P30. Trust me. Let's break it down. First things first, build quality. The build quality on this is excellent. Now, like I said earlier, it is IP53, so it is splash proof, you just can't submerge it. But other than that, look and feel wise, I'll say it, why not? Feels good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. Beautiful glass back, <laughs> this is amazing. Now look, if you put this in your left hand and you put a Galaxy S10 Plus in your right hand, you wouldn't know which one is a thousand bucks and which one is 600. That's what I call great build quality, A1 status. Now check this out, you got always on display. Now here's the reason why I always say the LG and the Samsung phones have the best always on displays out, because they let you customize it, you can make the brightness uh, as bright as you want or as dim as you want, and you can add your own custom picture. With the Huawei always on displays, you're only getting the time, the date, and your battery percentage, and it's not interactable. But it's still better than nothing. I right, one plus, pay attention. A little always on display is better than no always on display. All right, my bad, y'all. It's Saturday night. These are my primetime hours, so I expect to get a lot of phone calls, so I might have to do a little bit of editing, but let's try to push through. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. Double tap, swipe up, put in your pin or your pattern. Next, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works every time. And after that, you got face unlock. Now, I'm gonna lift up the phone. You see, I'm not looking at it. So it didn't register. Now I'm gonna lift up the phone and look at it. Just like that. Super fast. Let's try that on-screen fingerprint sensor one more time. No lag on that and no problems. Now you don't have to put the display on if you don't want to, but I just like to see where to put my finger at. Oh, one more thing also. Now I set up my finger sideways. You can set it up like this, but I usually hold my phone in my hand like this. So I like to have it set up sideways so I can just rest it like that. Now, let's go through the basic toggles. On the top. All right, so I'll try to do this quick. You got your screenshot button. All right, you're gonna need that. Bong, instant screenshot. But you also got screenshot gestures. You got eye comfort mode. Are you checking your messages in the middle of the night? Turn on eye comfort mode. Don't blind yourself. Dolby Atmos. Now, once you click on Dolby Atmos, you got three different settings. You got smart movie or music if you put it on music you get your little eq let's leave it on rich why not 
let's see, you got your navigation dock. All right, if you got small hands, use the navigation dock uh, to go back, go uh, reach and use apps, do whatever you want. You see, let, let's, let's, let's leave it on for a second. Let's open up YouTube. Now with the navigation dock, you see I can open up recently used apps, or I could just go back home. So that's a fun little tool to play with. I'll leave it off. Got your do not disturb, ultra power saving mode, and screen recorder. All right, that's important. Now, of course, you got NFC and Bluetooth. Let's get rid of all of those. Let's go to the basic settings. Okay, we'll start from the top. You got your personal hotspot. You got dual SIM settings. All right, this phone has dual SIM slots. So you got dual SIM settings. You got your VPN and your private DNS. Let's go to connectivity. There it is, NFC. So you got Bluetooth, NFC, Huawei Beam, Huawei Share, easy projection, and printing. Go to home screen and wallpapers. Change your magazine, lock themes, wallpapers. Let's go to home screen, uh, home screen settings. Different layouts. All right, let's see what the max is. All right, five by six is the max. I don't need that many apps on one screen, but you do what you do. Got a lock layout. Auto align, Google feed. Leave that on. It's pretty smooth these days. Home screen style. Now you got standard or draw. Now I haven't even downloaded all my apps yet, so I'll leave it on standard. But if you like having an app draw, or you don't have you don't like having multiple scrolling, say you got 300 apps. You don't want to keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling left and right from your home page. Hit the apps button and scroll up from the draw. Your choice though. Got your lock screen signature, and you're always on display. Now, always on display, not too many settings. You can just have it set uh, set to turn off at a certain time or just leave it on all day. Why not leave it on all day? I noticed with these new phones, especially ones with OLED panels, always on display is not gonna kill your battery and you're not gonna get screen burning. I never had that yet. Let's keep it moving. Let's go to uh, display. Now, of course, max brightness and I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> just like I said, I right, hold, hold on a second, y'all, hold on a second. This is my daughter. Yeah, all right, my bad. Now I'm supposed to be going to this little housewarming party and yeah, I know, the party don't start until DJ Cringe gets on the mic. So let me try to wrap this up. As for the display settings, this is max brightness. All right, super bright. You got auto if you want. Let's check the color temperatures. Normal, vivid, default, warm and cool. Let's make it nice and cold. Let's see the coldest. And we'll leave it at the coldest temp. Let's see uh, eye comfort. We already checked that. More display settings. Check out the notch. Now let's get rid of that notch, and that's how it's gonna look. Personally, I don't mind the teardrop notch. I'll take this all day as opposed to the George Jefferson, but if you don't like either one, you can rock out like this. We'll leave it like that for the rest of the video. Got your carrier name and your carrier speed. Now look closely. Y'all see me rocking Cricket Wireless again. All right, trap status. Let's keep it moving. Let's go to sounds. All right, let's check the uh, ringtone volume. One bottom firing speaker. <laughs> and it's definitely only one speaker. Put everything on max. Let's see, uh, Dolby Atmos settings, more sound settings. Let's see, is there anything on more? All right, screenshot, <laughs> turn that off. You need your clandestine screenshots, don't get busted. Let's see, anything else? Notifications, we don't need to check that. Apps, we don't need to check that. Battery. All right, so, 11 hours and five minutes left. 22% battery. Let's put on performance mode. I right, keep your phone running nice and fast. You see it decreased a little. Now it went down to 10 hours and 31 minutes. Now if I put on power saving mode, I got a full 14 hours and 16 minutes and ultra power saving mode, a full 44 hours and 16 minutes. All right, that's damn near two days. All right, that's crazy. Let's see, uh, you got your, let's see, uh, battery usage. You can see what apps are draining your battery, darken interface colors. Bang. You got to do that on Huawei phones. Make everything look nice and clean. And not to mention, it saves battery. More battery settings. Stay connected when the device sleeps. Blah, blah, blah. See, now all of the menus are black. I love that. I forgot to do that on the P30 Lite. Let's see uh, storage. Now, this is the 128 gig version. I only use 14 gigs. Pretty nice. Oh, matter of fact, you can also clean that up. All right. Let's go to, uh, matter of fact, I don't really have nothing, so you don't need, need to do that right now. Device balance, uh, digital balance. Now, this is cool. Check this out. Screen management. If you turn that on, this is your phone or the kid's phone. So if you buy this for your kids and you got one of those badass kids that's always on the phone when they're supposed to be sleeping, you can actually check their phone and see how much time they've been on the phone. Pretty good. 
Let's go to smart assistance. You got one hand mode. All right, if this phone is too big for you, put it in one hand mode. Let's go to shortcuts and gestures. All right, so high voice, hold down the power button. That'll activate your Google now. What's the weather for tomorrow? All right, that's that. Let's go to, uh, where was we? Okay, shortcuts and gestures. All right, double uh, the screenshot, knuckle gesture. Bang, double tap for the screenshot with your knuckle. I like that one. Now check this out, this is one I never tried yet. With two knuckles, double tap and start a screen recording. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let's hit start recording. All right. Oh, it is recording, look at the top. Let's, hit, let's turn that off. All right, let's try that one more time now. All right, there it is. All right, now I'm holding the phone at a funny angle, but you see that does work. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let me try it one more time. I'm going to try to see if I can do it the right way. Matter of fact, let's see. Now, say I was on uh, YouTube. Let's take it over to the tube real quick. Let me make sure I don't put nobody on blast. Give nobody no unnecessary shout outs. Okay, so I just pulled up a YouTube video. Let's try to screen record. And there it is. Screen recording with that gesture. I like that. Okay, let's see any other gestures. Let me exit out of this. Let's see, you got split screen. Now that's the one knock. Open up your split screen multitasking. I'll show you all that in a minute. Let's see, you got your wake up gestures. All right, pick the phone to wake up. We don't need to go through those. Let's see, mute. Now you're getting a phone call. Flip the phone over, that'll mute. Same thing in our reduced the uh, phone calls coming in. And this one right here. Now answer phone calls. Say you got your phone on the table and you're getting a phone call. All you got to do is pick it up, put it to your ear, and it'll automatically answer the phone. I always leave that off because I got caught so many times screening calls like this and it accidentally just answers the phone without even going all the way up to my ear. So somehow I'll pick it up like this and it'll answer the phone. So I'll leave that off. I ain't taking no chances. All right, let's see. You got gloves mode too. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Let's go to, uh, did we check security? All right, so you got face unlock, fingerprint ID, lock screen and password, private space. I'll save that for the end of the video. And of course, we'll take it over the system, about phone, EMUI 9.1, Android 9 VIP. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Let me turn the volume back up. All right, here we go. Web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Which browser app? All right, I got to set this up. <sighs> little little noobness right there. We'll try that again. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Okay, there it is. Full website. Nice and fast. And you want to see split screen multitasking. Now, one thing I like about the Huawei phones as opposed to Samsung, we still got the split screen multitasking button. You don't got to do all that fancy stuff. I don't like that. Let's open up YouTube. Let's check um the display and the volume. Then we got another computer set up right here. Okay. Now, this is my video from the other night. Laptop. RGB lifestyle. Mac computer. Couple of speakers. Gaming access. Not the loudest speaker in the world. And it's only single firing. Now, if you notice, we got the RGB lights but it does work. Let me just make sure that's max volume. We got a little metric time clock. That yeah, sounds decent. Me personally, I'd rather have dual speakers. But again, if you don't care about that, this is definitely loud enough. There's your viewing angles. Mm, you see all those RGB lights? A lot of y'all was hating, man. Talking about electricity bill. I don't care about that, man. I need RGB lifestyle. All right. Anyway, let's keep it moving. All right. So anyway, so that was the um, <laughs> that was split screen multitasking. You've seen it for yourself. Let's uh, let's do that one more time. Let's try Facebook. All right. So let's say you say you want to watch your videos. Chill on Facebook at the same time. Let's see what's going on with my Facebook. That's pretty much it. Okay. There it is. This is the and that's that. Lifestyle. Now, let me show you how the camera. All right. Matter of fact, overall, 
On a scale of one to yeah, ten, yeah, it's, it's, it is pretty loud though. This charger is a major, major. It is pretty loud. Major. All right, let me pull up the camera. Now check this out. This is one of the best things about this phone. This camera is amazing. All right, let's start with. Let's go through the regular uh, modes first. All right, so you got your aperture mode. That's not portrait mode. It'll give you the same effect, but say you want to take a, a portrait mode shot of just this box on the table, you can't put it in portrait mode because portrait mode only works on human faces. So say you want to take a picture of your cat and you want that aperture background, use aperture mode, and you can also adjust the aperture, which is actually the blur, all right? So if you put it all the way to the left, that's maximum blur in the background. Put it to the right, that's basically stock. You got night mode, which works amazing. Portrait mode, all right, so you're taking a picture of a person. There's your portrait mode. You can add your beauty level. All right, let's go to regular photos. Now, this is auto. You got video. You got pro mode. I right, change the ISO, autofocus, white balance. And you got more. Now, look at all these cameras. You got slow motion, panoramic shots, monochrome. That's the black and white. You got your AR lens, all those cute emojis. You got uh, light painting, HDR, time lapse, moving pictures, filters that's all the instagram blurs backgrounds you got stickers documents super macro are you taking up a picture of something really close on the table say you're taking a picture of a penny and you want to see the, the the president's head extra close use super macro and you can download more stickers and documents all right so let's go to regular photos now you also have the wallways uh i forgot what they call in this but it's basically google lens i forgot the wallway term of that but it's google lens you got your flash you got AI. Now, I always leave AI on with Huawei phones because they know how to do it right. Now, a brief, de uh, brief description of uh, AI, artificial intelligence. Basically, the computer is going to pick the best setting for your phone. All right, so if I got Xerxes on the table and I'm taking a picture, on the bottom right here, a little picture of a cat will pop up and you'll know it's a cat and not a dog. And it'll make the cat look extra fluffy, extra, extra kitty-ish. All right, if you got food on the table, it'll say food. And the thing I like about AI is it's, it's really AI. It's, it knows the difference between green grass, green trees, green lettuce, and green broccoli. Like, you can't just point it at grass and it'll think that it's broccoli. It knows the difference. All right, so you also have standard, vivid, and smooth colors. And let's go to settings. Now, here's one thing. With the resolution, now, most of these pictures I was taking is with 10 megapixels. If you put it on 40 megapixel, it's going to get a better picture, but you can't zoom in and out. It's the only thing I don't like about that. Let's go to video real quick. Let's take it over to settings. All right, resolution. You got full 4K UHD without the best stabilization. And you got 1080 with full stabilization. So the videos I took just now, 1080, 60 frames per second. All right, that's pretty much it. Now let me show y'all my usual camera test. We'll start from the beginning. Okay, so I dimmed the lights a little bit so you can see the pictures better. Now this is just a regular point and shoot with the AI camera turned on. Look at the detail on that. You can see all the brown and white shoes face. And the camera knows that it's a cat, so it made it look nice and fluffy. Same thing with this one. Look at the whiskers. This is actually a pretty good camera. Now this is aperture mode. Notice the background is blurry. Same thing with this one. Blurred out the background. Shoes in the foreground. This is inside the liquor store. Regular point and shoot shots. Everything looking nice and colorful. Check out all the different flavors of Ciroc. Now, y'all know I was looking for that watermelon. They ain't have it. Now, check this out. This is a regular uh, photo that I took at nighttime. Now, watch night mode. You see the difference? Keep your eye on the store. You notice how the awning looks kind of dark red? Now, when I activate night mode, look how bright it is. Check this out again. Now, this is a regular uh, photo I took at night. You can't even see that tree. And the store awning is pretty dark. When you activate night mode, now you can see the tree and the awning is bright red. So night mode is not a gimmick. It actually works. Now here's a regular shot. Now watch the wide angle. Keep your eye on that cab. You can only see the front of the cab. You can see the whole store. Activate wide angle without even moving. Now you can see all the way down the block. This wide angle is the truth. Now this is the zoom. Check this out. Now, if you put it on re the regular shot, let's zoom in. This is as much as you could zoom in. You could actually see the name of the store. But if you use the ultra zoom, I right, the five time zoom, 
You can clearly see the name of the store. Now, this is not the uh, super zoom like on the P30 Pro, but this one is pretty good. Here's a regular shot. And then night mode. Now, this one, you can look at the top of the buildings to see the difference. There's regular. Night mode is, looks a little bit brighter. Now, this is regular angle. Watch when I hit wide angle. Now, you can see the whole tree. All right, so this is regular, wide angle. I love that. Again, walked in the store, everything looking nice and colorful. Hit wide angle. Now I can see all the way inside of the store. Now here's a regular point and shoot. I was trying to take a picture of some Velveeta cheese. Notice you can see everything in the background. Now watch when I hit aperture mode. Look at the background now. Blurred out. That's pretty dope. And of course, you could change the aperture settings. I put this one on maximum blur. So you can't see nothing back there. Now here's me looking like a fucking bum. All right, looking like I'm getting ready to rob the store. On a side note, somebody asked me, how come I don't get jacked when I do these camera tests in the middle of the night? It's because I look like this. All right, I look like the jacker, not the Jackie. But this is a nice front facing portrait mode shot. Beauty mode, skin looking a little flawless, you know. What else? Okay, we got some cereals. Now, my usual video test. 1080, 60 frames per second. I'm just walking around the store like this, panning left and right, not trying to be super stable. Let's turn the volume down. Let's see. Now, I'm watching this for the first time with y'all. Oh, this looks nice and smooth. Oh, I like this camera right here. This is what I'm talking about. Now, if y'all watch all my camera tests, I do them the same. And the reason I do them the same is for this reason. So you can now you can go back and compare for yourself. Look at this. You don't see my hand shaking or nothing. And y'all know I got shaky hands already. I just came from the gym. Look how smooth that is. That's what I'm talking about right here. 600 bucks. Look at that. This is iPhone Galaxy quality smoothness. All right, video stabilization, 1080p, 60 frames per second. This is a go right here. You see, I try to keep panning back and forth. That's when you would usually get that little sh uh, sh shakes in the video is when you're panning. Super smooth on that one. And of course, shout out to all my West Indians. I had to take a picture of the Shandy. Somebody hit me up in the comments and was, was like, is that real Shandy? It's Shandy. All right. West Indians know what, what that is. Now, check this out. This is a dope test right here. This is the zoom test. So I got my back against the wall. You see how long that aisle is? All right, this is wide angle. Look at the end. You can barely see the end. That's wide angle. Now, this is regular. Now, we got three times zoom and the five times zoom. And with the five times zoom, if you squeeze in, you can actually see the price that's all the way back there. Now, think about that. This is where I'm actually standing at. All of these aisles, that's one, two, three, four, five, maybe like eight aisles. I was able to zoom all the way to the end and get the price. Now, here's another one. Look how far back I am. I'm at the wall of the supermarket. This is wide angle. You see, now look. If I zoom in, you see how long that aisle is? This regular wide angle. Now, here's your regular shot. Now, there's your three-time zoom. And look at the five-time zoom. You can actually see that this is Goya. All right, those are Goya drinks. Now, if I go back to the first one, you can't even tell what's all the way down there. Even at the max pinch, only my real Hispanics would know that that's Goya, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. All right? <laughs> I'm trolling, I'm trolling. But here's the maximum zoom. Goya, oh boya. All right, so let's wrap this up. Now, before I get out of here, let me show y'all my favorite feature on Huawei phones, private space, or as I call it, thought protection. Let me show you how this works. Now I'm gonna open up the phone using my right hand. Notice my wallpaper's blue. Let's take it over to Facebook. That's me, this is my Facebook account. Let's go to Instagram. That's me, Flossie Carter. That's my Instagram account. Let's go to gallery. These are all of the photos I just showed y'all. Now I'm gonna close the phone and open it with my left hand or as I call it, my thought print. Look at that. Now it's like having a brand new phone. I'm fully thought protected. Let's go to Facebook. There's my troll Facebook account, Spectatorist. Let's go to Instagram. Nothing logged in. 
I got X videos for them baby old patrol nights. And let's go to gallery. All my thought activity. Now I can close the phone back up. Open it with my right hand. Back to gentleman status. Let's go to Facebook. There's my Facebook again. Let's go to Instagram. Flossy Carter, that's my Instagram. And let's go back to gallery. No thought activity. This is so sick. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Huawei P30, fresh out of the box, a major, major, major go. For 600 bucks, this is an excellent deal. Now, of course, you don't got your IP68 rating, no dual speakers, no wireless charge, no reverse wireless charge, no QHD display, and no IR blaster. But for 600 bucks, you get an excellent build quality. It is IP53, so it's kind of splash proof. You got the latest processor and GPU, big battery, plenty of storage, plenty of RAM, and an amazing camera. Hit me up in the comments, let me know what y'all think about this, and we'll do the P30 Pro next week. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I'll see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, Close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Front of Captain. Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>